Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Dale Earnhardt Jr. the Dale Earnhardt Incorporated Piston Cup Racer number 8. So before we get right into the review let me discuss something. So Dale Jr. was not only a Piston Cup Racer spawned Inserted by Dale Earnhardt Incorporated number eight, he he is also the son of the late Piston Cup racer Dale the Intimidator Earnhardt Sr. And he and he is a 2000 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Hello, I. I'm going to have to say, and he was voiced by the real Dale Earnhardt Jr. In, two th in 2000, and he won the Piston Cup Rookie of the Year awards and had won the most popular, the Piston Cup Most Popular Driver of Driver awards four times and was also one of the racers that attended the Danico 400 and although he wasn't he didn't get involved in the multi car wreck caused by Chick Hicks and he and never received any cosmic damage during the wreck and was able to finish the race at LA International Speedway when Lightning McQueen went missing he 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 was he was interviewed by by the paparazzis and stated that he hoped that he was okay and hated to see anything bad happening to him then at the tiebreaker race before then i mean before the tiebreaker race at LA International Speedway he wished his friend strip the king weathers good luck on on his last race and had been a very inspiration to him and then and then at the endings and during the epilogue Dale Jr. along with the King and Mrs. Linda the King Weathers attended the Danico I mean the Doc I'm sorry I meant the Doc Hudson Museum in Radiator Springs which was officially announced well entered by Mater and Dale Jr. was impressed by the same that many wins in the same season and it is on and and that and his sponsor didn't return and he along with his sponsor did not return in Cars 3. But what do you guys think? What happened to Dale Jr. between between the events of Cars and Cars 3? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. So, anyhow, let's get right into the review. Here we've got his happy facial expression and his n friendly smile and his Number eight on with his headlight stickers and his dark shade of red, and on the hood we've got the Dale and Hart Incorporated logo which he has sponsored, and on the and on the left side we've got a white number eight behind some black scallops and several contingency sponsor logos saying. Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gang, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Retread, and Clutch Aid. And, on, and we also have his dark gray rims on his Black Wall Lightyear Racing Tires and, and Lightyear on both of his, on each of his front fenders and and on the top we've got another number eight and his name signature 
and on the back we've got the a Dale Earnhardt Incorporated logo and a number eight on one of his tail lights and 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 on the back on his trunk it says Junior and Dale Earnhardt Jr., which is his name. And on the left side, same design but in reverse. And that is it. So now let's compare Dale Jr. to other Chevy vehicles. We've got Papo, who is a 1947 Chevrolet Coupe. Jeff Corvette, who is a Chevy Corvette C6R. Daryl Carter, who is a 1977 Chevy Monte Carlo. Ramon, who is a 1959 Chevrolet Impala Lowrider Hot Rod. And Mater, who I believe is a 1957 Chevy truck. And some of the other cars that have a 90s to 2000s style body, like like the Axello Fijons, for example, we've got Mac Guy Carr, Chuck Armstrong, Todd Marcus, Lee Revkins, and Darren Ledfoot, Ruby Easy Oaks, who is a Crown Celesta, Kevin Racing Tire, who is a Capital Motors Verve XT. Rusty Cornfuel, who is a Brawny Motor Co. Spark GT. And Aiken Axler, who is a Lux Motors Co. Piston Cup V8. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Oh, and I also forgot to mention that Dale Jr. was released as a diecast in 2007 as part of the Supercharged series, and again in 2008, and, and again in 2009, uh, and his last release was in 2010, but with an Nitro... Aiken Axler body mold, mold and expression like with rubber tires like in the motor speedway of the South of 36 car set and he hasn't been released since but what do you guys think which which Chevy vehicle is your favorite which 90s to 2000s body style car is your favorite and why did Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s diecast releases Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s diecast release had stopped being released? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave any suggestions of which car of the past in the Cars Collection video in the description should I review next. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so stay tuned. Goodbye now!